I'm Joanna Harding and I'm on the product marketing team for cloud security. I'm here today with Eric Ouellette, the product marketing manager for App Governance. Eric, thank you for joining us today. How are things in Canada? Thank you for the introduction, Joanna. Uh, yes, the fall is starting to set in, the beautiful colors are all around us and it's my favorite time of the year. I hope you're doing well in your neck of the woods at HQ in Washington State. Thank you, things are good here too. Today, we're excited to announce the CASB from Microsoft, formerly known as Microsoft Cloud App Security, joins the Defender family of products as Defender for Cloud Apps. In addition, we're announcing the expanded capability through the GA of App Governance. Eric, can you tell us how App Governance works? Sure, love to. Um, App Governance is a security and policy management capability uh, that monitors and governs the behavior of OAuth-enabled apps that access Microsoft 365 data via the Graph API. This allows you to quickly identify, alert, and protect data, users, and apps. The big aha moment for customers is when they experience the overview page for the very first time. Let me show you. This view provides deep visibility into all the OAuth apps accessing data via the Graph API in their tenant. We can see the number of apps, including over-permissioned, unused, and high-privilege apps. Also, we can see the outstanding security and compliance alerts. Here, we see how many users are accessing this app, their privileges, the amount of data accessed, and also when the app was last modified, and the security and compliance alerts that we should review. That's a comprehensive dashboard, Eric. Can we take a deeper look at that alert? Of course. When we go to the alert page, we can see the alert name, the severity, the app, and the source of the alert. When we look at the details, we get more information, such as the policy name, its description, and the affected apps. I can drill even deeper into the affected app by actually clicking on it. In this example, I can see a spike in the data usage just by looking at this trend line. That's a lot of data suddenly accessed by a nearly dormant app in a very short time. And that's part of why this alert was triggered. With app governance, I can actually identify potentially inappropriate app activity. Hey Eric, I know there's been some real world examples recently about third party applications that have caused harm to businesses. Can you help us understand the value this brings to customers? Definitely. As an example, a company might set up an app to redirect emails from customer service requests automatically. However, the app could be designed to also maliciously forward emails from C-suite executives in the background. That information could be used for spear phishing, insider trading, or embarrassing headlines. App governance can watch, report, and block this type of behavior from internally and externally developed apps. How can customers align app governance with their existing security policies or even enforce automatic actions to prevent high-risk behaviors by apps? App governance uses AI learning models and can be configured to match your existing security policies. Let's walk through the experience. You can set proactive protection policies to get alerts when a defined activity is detected. If an alert is triggered, actions can be taken automatically, protecting your data and your users. The Policies tab show a list of the active and inactive policies that have been defined within app governance. Microsoft provides almost 20 out-of-the-box policy templates, and administrators can use these as a starting point. They can modify the templates to meet their needs, speeding up deployments. You can also create your own policies to fit your environment and requirements. The best part of all is that app governance is available today. Eric, thank you for sharing with our audience app governance capabilities available with Defender for Cloud Apps. This is an exciting new capability and I'm really glad we're able to bring it to our customers. To learn more about app governance or to get started, please go to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps homepage. Eric, thank you again. And thank you for watching Microsoft Ignite.